World Health Organization, Britain, among other countries, has just signed up to what's being called a treaty. Uh, it's actually an international agreement, uh, a World Health Organization the pandemic treaty uh, due to be ratified later this month. And if we uh, if that goes ahead, what we're effectively signing up to is an agreement that as soon as we get another pandemic, we plunge our str ourselves straight into lockdown right away. I'm very sick of people telling me lockdowns were brilliant, they were effective, they're the only way to stop COVID and other viruses. Uh, I'm not convinced and I want to know why it is we're signing up to this lockdown first policy by an international globalist organisation and why it is that our ludicrous uh, COVID inquiry will not question whether or not lockdowns were even necessary. Well, uh, the lockdowns were an unmitigated disaster. They're an assault on society. Uh, they uh, took away freedoms and liberty. They uh, actually, in many ways, have caused far more damage than any uh, um, is a betterment that they actually uh, asserted. Uh, we've seen it across the board now in terms of the economy, in terms of our health, uh, delayed cancer, stroke, heart disease, the impacts of excess deaths now that we're seeing, particularly in younger people, the impact on care workers, because we're talking about the vaccine mandate, 45,000 people left. That's had a knock-on effect on the NHS across the economy 15,000 uh, hospitality businesses went out of business many more subsequently now have been we've seen families disrupted education impacted young people mental health and a range of other issues uh, as well as older people and the impacts on things like alzheimer's and others and dentistry and a range of other areas uh, uh, that have been enormously impactful as a consequence of lockdowns we should remind ourselves that you know, sovereignty is paramount. Sajid Javid was flippant about this when we uh, pulled him up on it at the time. And he said, well, we will, of course, retain our sovereignty. The problem is, Kevin, that it was the British government that impacted this using the Public Health Act the first time around. So whilst it's really essential that we do push back and there's been some uh, good uh, wins in terms of this with the WHO and the international um uh, the IHR uh, agreements. It's good that we've there's been some changes made, some good work. People like us for them and others have done and asserted it. We should remind ourselves that it's our own public health act that was used to assert lockdowns, and that needs to be addressed. We should assert never again lockdowns. Right, the the, the cost benefit analysis was never done, and we're now going to be suffering for generations as a consequence of what happened. And the world is a different place from what it was before. And the whole idea that we are perhaps just uh, uh, something to be feared from one another and that the way to solve these problems is to prorogue Parliament, to stop any democratic debate and to lock people up in their houses and have surveillance. And we can see some of these dynamics, unfortunately, Kevin, uh, in how things are happening in our streets, mm. the discussions around 15-minute cities, low-traffic neighbourhoods, surveillance limits restrictions in positions a continuation keeping you safe keeping the world safe the environment safe for your benefit by these globalist organizations and, and by our government yeah. so the antidote to that is to make sure we all hold people accountable and that's why we say to people to get involved with together we're going to continue in doing that and saying that the public has to be put first our needs and our interests uh, not what's happened in yeah. the last four a few, years. A few words from you, Alan, if, if you will, about this COVID inquiry, which refuses uh, to include in its remit uh, yes. the essential question that all of us are asking is, were lockdowns even necessary? Now, my argument about the lockdowns, I probably said it to you before, it seems to me eminently logical. They didn't work because we had a lockdown. And then after whatever it was, a few weeks, a couple of months, we came out of lockdown. Oh, no, it's marvellous. Look at, look at the, the, the death rates way down. We've done it. Three weeks later, oh, by me, we better go back into lockdown. The deaths are soaring again. So we go into lockdown again. Uh, the death, death rate slows down because obviously if no one's contacting each other, no one's leaving their home, you'll have, the, the virus won't spread. Then we come out of lockdown, immediately it comes right back, and then we do it again. In other words, once you have to have 
a subsequent lockdown, after you've had the first lockdown, it clearly proves the first lockdown didn't work. So why but, isn't the COVID inquiry considering the efficacy of lockdowns? Why is it uh, its only question is, did we lock down early enough or strong enough? I mean, it's ridiculous. Well, I mean, it's a, I mean, as it happens, Kevin, like, each time they did a lockdown, the actual numbers were on the decline as it happens if we look at them. But the key, the key thing to uh, you've asked the key question, and it's an absolute scandal that this inquiry has not asked that key question. Of all the things it should be asking about what happened during that period, the question is why were lockdowns used it was unprecedented it was the true thing that was unpre unprecedented we had a pandemic preparedness strategy it was only ever used once before in a very small area in mexico and then china did it uh, jeremy hunt loved that moment with china some people were you know like fawning over it and in labor as well uh, and then all of a sudden we have it imposed on us. Talk about something that's never been done before with no assessment and evaluation of the impacts and consequences. Uh, and for a society that was obsessed with risk adversity and with making sure you do cost benefit analysis on almost everything and risk assessments, it was absolutely uh, a really remarkable moment and terrible. The fact that the inquiry, the COVID inquiry is not assessing and asking the question were lockdowns necessary why did they happen and should they happen again just means that really it's not fit for purpose there's some interesting things that have come out from it but that's got to be a core question and that's also why at the together declaration we've carried on campaigning we invite people to become members up and down the country uh, to organize groups and to make sure that we're not going to allow this to happen again in britain to us